Horror games are a thrill, frightening and exciting, but also a lot of fun as well. Frictional games seem to be understanding what makes a game frightening, but also fun for a while, especially with the release of the Penumbra series and Amnesia of Dark Descent. While for many, Amnesia is the scariest game Frictional Games made, or maybe even on their scariest games of all times list, I beg to differ. For me, Penumbra Black Plague takes this place instead. It is one of the most tightly crafted, entertaining and terrifying survival horror games I have played up until now. Now what is so special about Penumbra anyway? For me it's the combination of three key aspects, horror, puzzles and humor. It's hard to believe this for some, but Penumbra isn't just a scary game. The puzzles are mind-bendingly hard and really make you think, and the writing is intelligent and rather funny. Penumbra's story isn't only told through flashbacks, but also through other survivors that still live in this facility. The protagonist is silent throughout the whole game, aside from some cutscenes, but there is another dude that kind of narrates the game instead. This guy is called Red, and he is one of the main characters of the Penumbra games. Honestly, he is one of the best written characters in a horror game to date. He is funny as hell, toys around with the protagonist and is not annoying in the slightest. He is kind of the comic release character of the game, but so are all the other characters you meet in Penumbra. Everyone has something funny to say, and that is a good thing. Relieving the character from the constant fear and stress is a good thing for some games, and it definitely helped Penumbra to stand out a bit more compared to the other games Frictional Games released. So now, what makes the horror so good? That is now a more complicated question to find an answer for. This is residential. The archaic asks that viral biologists do not take their work home with them. Yeah, yeah! Feast on him, brother! Free us both! Whether something is scary or not is entirely subjective and everyone has a different answer for this question. I will boil it down to this. The monsters are scary as fuck. And the atmosphere is on point. I really enjoy the monsters in this game because they talk sometimes and seem to taunt the player. At least it sounds like it. And I mean, just look at them. They are scary as shit. What makes them even worse is that they carry a flashlight sometimes. I think you might get now why this game is scarier to me than Amnesia is. The monsters with flashlights can find you much easier and it's much harder to hide from them. Sometimes you even need to just take a risk and run away from them to try to lose them. These guys also react by saying different lines here and there. They are really believable in their design. What I also prefer is the setting and atmosphere. Penumbra is set in modern times, so you have computer terminals, an underground high-tech facility and Heinz ketchup bottles in fridges that are most likely rotten. I also like the lighting in this game, it's really atmospheric and somehow the sharp shadows that are cast everywhere have a weird charm to them. Many older games have those sharp shadows, for example Fear, but they really aren't too bad. I think I like them because they are so bold and they could be used as a stylistic choice. The gameplay is basically identical to Amnesia's when it comes to the movement and inventory system. The movement seems to be exactly the same. The physics feel kind of the same, and the inventory is really samey too. Penumbra doesn't have a mental condition gauge, but it has two light sources. In Penumbra you use a glow stick and a flashlight. 
While the glow stick can be used infinitely, the flashlight relies on batteries. You might think that it's best to just use the glow stick, but there actually is a good reason to alternate between the two. The glow stick is really good for illuminating surrounding areas, while the flashlight is excellent at brightening up a spot in the distance. When you stand still, your eyes will adapt to the darkness and you can see everything rather clearly. But you cannot rely on this alone. Because when you move, everything gets dark again. So there are significant differences in the gameplay when compared to Amnesia, but it gets even more different. Remember, Penumbra is also a puzzle game. It even got a whole puzzle expansion pack. Not to spoil anything, but some of these puzzles are really fucking hard. I won't tell you anything about what you do to complete those puzzles, but I can tell you it's a challenge. A challenge that could get you stuck for hours. Some solutions aren't even that obvious, so you really have to look out and think sharp when playing this game. Before I wrap up this video, I gotta take a look at the sounds in this game. I remember Watho here. A Dr. Swanson has filled me in. I recall every single syllable of our conversation. There was ever so slight an inflection in her tone that suggested she no longer trusted me. Why ever dinosaur extinction 65 million years ago uh, would she think that? I, we share the same history. You and I are history. I recall, I recall the day of my birth, 18th of September, 1964. 3.46993412 recurring minutes past nine. I remember my mother looking surprised as I poked my head out into the world for the first time. You need a security registered phone. Something I can provide. You need it at the library. Something beyond my reach. When I became infected by those mindless zombies, I split off from the others and secured myself here. I cannot leave. Nonetheless, you will need a hand. I will not. Bring me a song. The voice acting is fantastic. The sound effects used in the game are really good and terrifying too when it comes to the monsters. The soundtrack is very atmospheric and is mostly kept in the dark ambient genre. Penumbra also uses many sounds that Amnesia had as well, but features many new sounds too. So, should you try out Penumbra Black Plague? Yes, there is no reason why you shouldn't if you are a horror or puzzle fan. The game is dirt cheap nowadays and on a Steam sale you can get the entire series for only 1 euro and 50 cents. The game also runs rather smoothly too. It feels kind of timeless in a way. Penumbra is survival horror at its finest. If you like horror with some challenging puzzles, you will not be disappointed by this game. Thank you for watching this video. It would really help me if you would share the video and rate it to give me feedback. And I also opened a Discord server now. So if you want to hang out with me, give some suggestions, give some video ideas, feel free to join. I also have a Fiverr gig. So if you want a voiceover for something with my voice in it and simultaneously help out the channel, check out my Fiverr gig. Thanks again for watching and have a good day.